Hello. Um, so uh, I'm from Mexico City, and Mexico City is built uh, 7,300 feet uh, up on a mountain, and it's progressively running out of water. Um, we're on one of the most overexploited aquifers uh, in the world, and we draw so much water out of the ground, actually, that the water table falls about a meter per year. And in the 20th century, the whole city sunk more than 30 feet from overextraction. Um, but at the same time, we're in this incredibly water-rich place. It used to look like this. Uh, and we get tons of precipitation, and all of that goes into a combined uh, sewage system that then has to get pumped out of the valley uh, and thrown without treatment into the River Tula. So we're in this really critical situation, uh, and the reality of it really started hitting me when I started talking to this uh, woman, Clara Gaitan. Uh, and she's an incredible lady, and she lives in a self-built house in the south of the city. Uh, originally, she had to haul all of her own water. Uh, about 20 years ago, she got connected to the grid, and she started getting water three or four days a week. Uh, but over time, as the population grew, she started getting less and less water, so that today she's getting water maybe one day a week, and very often uh, a lot less than that. So that situation is shared by millions and millions of people in the city. Now this, like degrading situation with water. So in 2009, we put a rainwater harvesting system up in our house, and it had like really spectacular results. Um, today, Clara's family goes six to eight months out of the year entirely on rainwater. Uh, she doesn't touch a drop of water from the grid. So we found that rainwater harvesting can like literally transform a family's water situation. Um, but the really interesting thing is what happens when you start scaling it up. So when you put up uh, many, many rainwater harvesting systems, you start getting these systemic benefits that are amazing. Uh, if half the houses in a neighborhood, for example, have rainwater harvesting systems, uh, all the other houses suddenly start getting more water from the grid. And the whole area starts becoming resilient when you have water, uh, when the water gets cut off, and you start really developing sustainability. So. Um, we're designing rainwater harvesting systems that are really easy to install on existing houses. And for about $500, we can provide uh, half of a family, half or more of a family's total water needs in perpetuity after that, which is really pretty exciting. Um, so we're working to fill entire areas of the city with rainwater harvesting systems. And the idea is to start building this parallel decentralized infrastructure that starts relieving demand from the grid and starts moving everything towards sustainability. And our project is called uh, Isla Urbana. And my name is Enrique Lamnitz.